Well, welcome Capricorn. This is going to be your December love reading. Let's see what is coming in. So we do have the tower. Okay. The hermit. And there you are. The queen of rings energy. Bottom of the deck is the seven of rings in the reverse. The tower is sudden changes. Okay, there could be certain things that you're going through here that are could be very challenging and uncomfortable at times, right? But it is about um, things that are going to be aligning for your highest purpose. That's what the tower brings. It brings a lot of truth in to align you to your highest purpose, your higher self. The hermit is coming in also, which is a major arcana. And this in the reverse is needing to find a healthy balance. Okay, because there could be a lot of isolating yourself too much or feeling lonely or being by yourself a lot here. Okay, the Queen of Rings is beautiful because you are coming in as your sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's all about grounding, nurturing, love, uh, unconditional love. I, I love that you're coming out because as the Queen of Rings because it's a lot of independent, but it's also very confident and being very open all right you are super caring and um you care about people genuinely care about people and i that's what i love about how the card is coming in very generous now with the seven of pentacles there is a sense of impatience regarding into like what you're investing and feeling like whatever you're investing in is something is just always maybe going the in the feeling like it's going wrong so let's go ahead and jump right in and get more in depth in the reading. I am going to clarify and then I'll pull some um, other cards. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles in your energy. We have the Sun. We have the Temperance and the Knight, Nine of Cups. Strength is coming in and the Ace of Pentacles. We're going to clarify all of this for you guys because I love to see the Sun here. The Sun, you know, again, outshines all out shines all the negativity in the reading cancer scorpio pisces is coming in and let me just fix this here and i do see the queen of swords and the outcome something is out of balance here with that temperance something needs to come to balance and uh, i do see that there may have been a clash or maybe just not uh feeling at peace right now okay the nine of knight of pentacles is your energy and this is kind of stagnant but also enjoying the climb knight of pentacles is um all about you know it's like feels things are very slow but it's also smelling the roses too like stop and smell the roses that's how the knight of pentacles is coming in and the sun is coming through in the in the position of your person. I do see a lot of positivity coming in regardless. Uh, we do have the nine of cups. So in the past, it's showing some type of desire or wish fulfillment or wanting something, a wish to come true. Strength is coming in in this person's mind with the ace of pentacles. We're going to clarify this and see what's going on. There is a big block when it comes to relationships or family or stability here with the four of wands and then we do have the queen of swords so let's get more into this reading let's see why the sun is here i mean the sun is always beautiful to have and this is what is coming towards you what's coming in so what is this sun energy all right the devil that's interesting Feels like you're breaking away from a very unhealthy relationship that brought a lot of darkness and sadness and possible manipulation and now going into the more of the nine of pentacles energy once again you are coming in very independent this is feeling whole within yourself and not really needing anybody anyways this is confident on your own nine knight i'm sorry page of swords king of pentacles you may be still curious about somebody here but you but we do have the king of pentacles which is absolutely beautiful too we have the king and queen there is some type of match here with a certain energy i feel like whatever is coming in it's asking you to have patience i believe that you have lots of patience here capricorn 
but when it comes to certain situations like finding that person and putting yourself out there and manifesting and actually you know uh, you know, getting away from these unhealthy energies or breaking away from certain things it does allow new people to come in and make room for new energies right so that's what i mean by that when i say have patience um there is something here with the two of wands where it is saying like hey there's there's a need to come out of your comfort zone and go more into a direction where it does like it like that it feels new right like open up to the new possibilities um and i feel like whatever is going on with this situation um i feel like you're in the process right now for a lot of you guys breaking away from something that w was very unhealthy for you or felt very unhealthy and toxic to you so that's why i feel like the challenge is is that lonely feeling you're already coming up very independent not needing anyone anyways but it does show that this isolation this feeling of loneliness can really take over so i feel like just by this hermit energy there's a need to unstuck yourself um, because you're already very wise and stable already. I mean, you're beautiful energy. I feel like you may be over something here. Um, There's something here with that Four of Swords. Someone that you may be really attracted to, too. I have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. There is somebody wanting to message you, somebody wanting to communicate with you either to, through your DMs or through your text messages. And I feel it's to make amends. That's what I'm getting here. Or to come to some type of solution. Whatever is coming towards you with that star energy, you may not see this coming at all. But there is an opportunity, a solid opportunity here. And with the star, this is having faith. Hope and faith, okay? Because something is divine and there's there's someone on your path or an opportunity on your path that is arriving. Um, hmm. But the fear, and then we have the King of Swords. Hold on, let me go ahead and grab Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Knight of Cups. See, I'm seeing an energy here. Okay. I'm seeing an energy. There's an opportunity on the table on your path of what you really desire. But there's also somebody here toxic that can create, you know, kind of like a lot of uh, space in your mind. <laughs> like not space, uh, kind of confines your mind. And with this Ten of Cups, there's, they're showing some type of struggle when it comes to your happiness or relationships or a certain situation. And there is a very like eye-opening message here in the near future about possibly um, detaching from this energy, right? Because something you're breaking free from and a certain type of mindset because where this is leading with whatever may be making you feel down or making you feel um, this struggle within this connection or unhappy, it's leading to you making a very logical choice more than emotional. And it's because there's something here with this Three of Pentacles where there is a very frustrating situation to where you are seeing much clearer in the connection and i feel that whatever this tower is it's to reveal and have a breakthrough to help you move along to these new opportunities <coughs> excuse me to arrive to you here at capricorn <coughs> excuse me once again there is a need to open up to other opportunities uh, because even if this person is on your mind or you're still interested in a person that can still confine you and your energy you know won't be so magnetic to the new opportunities because you're so focused on somebody here so even though it could be over the energy still flows and it's again it's it feels like it's occupying your mind 
and I see that you are now, things are clearing up and no longer holding on, trying to, you know, no longer holding on to the situation as tightly as you are moving along your journey. Because there are some opportunities here, but as long as this energy is around, I feel that is what is need to be released is uh, I feel there's a stuck, there's something that still makes you feel lonely when this energy is around. It's just sometimes when we keep these connections close to us, they can keep like an energy block and make us feel like very lonely, even when they're not around because they're in our energy. So it's like really cleansing out this person to so I'm just going to see what's coming in. So again, there is an energy that has unfinished business with you. Yes, with they do. And they still feel like they want to discuss things here. And I feel like it has to do with this frustrating situation. Third party, there were other things that got in the way of us being together. So there may be other energies involved. And they do look at you as a missed opportunity, you know, and they still have not given up on you. And I feel like that's that hope, right? That they still have hope that you will still be in their life. But they're for in the near future, there's still a detached feeling. There's still something missing in this connection. Okay, there's a distance here between you and this person. Like you didn't picture it going this way and it's still very frustrating and still feels like a block. That's why I feel when the tower comes in, it's here, you know, it's very difficult and challenging, but it's here to reveal things to you, to clear your path for the opportunities that are arriving for you guys, okay? So let's go ahead and grab a spirit message here for you. Don't give up, Spirit is saying. It's okay that things don't always feel easy and effortless. Some of the best moments in life happen during and after hard times. Keep believing. Don't stop believing, okay? And it says authentic authenticity attracts. Being authentic attracts the right people and repels the wrong ones. When you stay true to yourself, you naturally filter out those who don't align with your path. Exactly. So again, you guys, I am going to go ahead and leave this here for you, Capricorn. I hope this message helped and brought clarity to you. I really do. And if it did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.